Hi traders, this is Nenad speaking and as always we have our session recap on Mondays and uh, well uh, last week was uh, also very good with results but it depends whether you close your trades or you held for trades. For example, uh, results were excellent but uh, I personally haven't closed two or three of my trades and they instead of profits they actually went into losses. Uh, that is why I always say it's uh, very, very important to actually protect your profits. But sometimes I even miss uh, to protect my profits uh, myself. But anyway, uh, I will uh, start with uh, showing uh, results and we will do a recap of previous week first. Okay, so risk disclaimer, CFD and Forex are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposit. So please ensure that you fully understand the risk involved. And this video is not taken as advice. It is my personal opinion only. So whatever you see here, guys, uh, have in mind that this is my personal opinion and trades. Also, uh, trading rules for our session recap. Give price a breathing room. We enter in the zone. It's called the POC zone. Add a spread to your stop loss. Even if you trade by ECN, add two to five pips spread, depending on pair traded. Have in mind that we take only one position per listed pair, whichever hits first. It's either positional or alternative trade, positional trades are trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels uh, should be traded independently of any position. And depending on time and volatility, we usually use a profit stop after 20 pips, but not less. Also for uh, every market, uh, protect your profits once you're in profit. And have in mind that these setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow and uh, add these levels to your system so pay attention to trends so you might find other trend-based entries and the term pips pool it is the maximum available number of pips you could have made on recap entries this this is the result for the previous week uh, euro dollar was good for 50 pips pound dollar was good for 40 australian dollar was 30 pip dollar yen 115 pip bdc dollar 360 total pip pool 595 I personally made a loss on euro dollar after it was good for 50, 60 pips. I didn't protect it and I made a loss. And also uh, Australian dollar, it was good. But then again, I didn't actually close it uh, when it was when the time should have been should have been. And actually it went up, hit the stop loss and then started to go down. It, it simply that is what I'm saying, guys. Uh, Holy Grail is money management. You really need to be. Well, uh, well aware of and yeah the BDC dollar is consistently the best trade but I didn't take it I just analyzed the BDC dollar I don't trade it guys uh, I trade Forex only sometimes I do WTI uh, or eventually uh, gold but it's not very often it's very rare so I'm uh, I'm almost exclusively trading Forex market but the BDC dollar is definitely uh, has been the best trade because guys either it will be a good win or a good miss because uh, the BDC dollar we use uh, 100 pips stop loss due to volatility. But uh, regarding Forex pair, pairs, uh, yeah, this is a mistake, guys. It should have been actually uh, dollar yen because the dollar yen definitely. I also had a good winning trade on dollar yen, so I will actually correct this. So dollar yen, not just not uh, the the euro dollar. So it's dollar yen. Okay, so this is it now. So dollar yen, that was the uh, regarding forex that was the best pair for the last week. Okay, and uh, well, depending on what you actually did, uh, whether you protected your profits or not, well, you should have made some uh, nice pips at least on uh, some pairs if you actually uh, try to protect your profits and move your stop once you're in profit. Uh, this was the euro dollar. As always, this uh, <clears throat> vertical line represents the time of our webinar. You can see that we had a nice uh, buy trade uh, from this line, uh, 1570. And when it happened, actually, it uh, was a nice shot, slingshot to the upside. And uh, we had a nice uh, running on euro dollar. Again, I traded this. I didn't close my uh, trade and uh, I actually was stopped out. But it was a very, very good trade here. Then uh, next one, uh, GBP dollar. Uh, again, uh, GBP dollar, we had some uh, few possible uh, trading positions. And I said uh, buy should come around 30, 
uh, 90 and sell should be a little bit higher well guys uh, if you if you sold this here at this spot it should have been a nice nice trade uh, otherwise if you went for a buy trade this was the time only for a buy trade here or there and it was in profit Australian dollar ranging but again I said the sell around 71.40 I already had some positions around 70.75 because I added one more position it was in, it came in profit again I did yeah just give me a few seconds yeah the video is now fine so again if you traded this as i explained you should have made some nice profits if you protected your trade uh if you protected your trade uh then uh, again you made profits uh as i said my setups were very very good last week but unfortunately i i myself didn't close all of them and instead of making and booking profits uh my trades uh, some of them instead of profits went into loss into a loss but it doesn't matter guys well it can happen always to the best of us to usually it, it can happen okay um uh, let's uh let's continue guys so this was the australian dollar i'm sure that the australian dollar is still bearish and i was telling you last week if you remember and if you remember correctly i was telling you that the australian dollar will definitely definitely go down although there was a correction but my opinion was that it will go down and the Australian dollar went down now uh, as you can see uh, <laughs> it started to make some sort of bearish zigzag although it's not a perfect zigzag but it's still a uh, bearish zigzag yeah and also guys one more update uh, yeah I think the RBA is, is protecting the 70 zero, zero. we will see my target was 68.80 and I still haven't seen that 69 in 90 let alone 68 so i think that our base still protected but we will see once it gets down they cannot protect it all the time <clears throat> also guys my opinion is yeah on, on trades uh we always need to adapt to market conditions and now i'm also working for update on my camera make the mtf version 2 and uh, it will roll out very very soon i'm totally into it now i i finished it all completely back testing now it's just uh it's just recording so I'm, I will try to record it and uh, distribute to all my members who are trading actively Camarilla MACD. Uh, the results were great. And, and as always, and today's results were also very, very good. So uh, basically, you will see that. And all of this analysis now is also based now on the M, uh, on the Camarilla MACD Lite version 2. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ilya is here. Yeah, a lot of people are still coming. Thank you, guys um thank you uh thanks for comments uh hi Ilya. nice to see you here uh david is asking saw your post on fx street yeah uh fx street yeah i'm constantly contributing to the fx street indeed no 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 no. it's not the orange mcd i actually changed it to standard settings 26 uh 12 26 9 for the camarilla uh mcd light but we will be doing uh also uh trading straight strict from camera levels and also uh we will be doing trading with this tool that is definitely applied to the template but uh, with my settings also uh it's called whiskey tool uh, that will be used also for camera media light version 2. uh new template is coming and of course multiple time frame analysis starting from monthly time frame drilling down uh to three time frames where the first time frame is entry uh, first time frame is trend time frame second is a pullback and third time frame is entry time frame we don't do anything less than four hour on camera mandy light version 2 because it's a swing template yeah with tool but it's called with t because it's uh, just uh, for camera mandy light version 2 it uh, it will uh, allow you to add but it, it's okay i just need to make the video guys and believe me, uh, I, I spent so many hours on backtesting the system and method. I mean, just modifying it, modifying it. So I really need some 
rest a little bit and then i will record a video but i will update trades also on my telegram channel on my telegram channel uh live ecs live but these trades that i'm giving you now are also based on camilla make light version 2 so don't worry guys let's continue dollar yen was ranging uh, we had a buy position and a sell position as you can see here from this uh, uh screenshot uh, we had a nice nice uh, trades uh from uh well from basically a support and this is uh, where support kicked in and price went up so dollar yen i also closed today's trade for 40 pips i also had a nice trade on gbp dollar for 40 pips that was also confirmed with camera media live so 80 pips total and i'm still in one trade uh, now but uh, yeah we can talk that about it later uh so now at this point uh, we are seeing some nice potential to the upside also on dollar yen and i think the dollar yen still has the room for more upside okay uh then the bdc dollar that was uh, the trade of the week uh if we if we count all the trades uh, uh if we count just forex it was the dollar yen uh at this point you can see that the bdc dollar is still in some sort of uh uh, well, ranging mode, but it's a bit bullish. You see a lot of lot of buying on dips, huge volatility. Be careful, guys. Uh, we had a nice uh, trade uh, for the last week. It was a buy position here, and then you see what happened after the buy position has been touched. And I don't know. I don't trade this, as I say, uh, but uh, I hope that uh, you, maybe some of you, take these trades uh, because they were very, very profitable uh the question now and then i will actually proceed with today's setups uh is it more common for the mtf trades to be confirmed as camilla light version 2 trades well usually uh camarilla uh, magdi version a uh, light version 2 it's uh especially from now on it will be we will be trading either uh, daily or four hour time frame okay and uh, usually they will be confirmed also with the camera make the mtf but it's basically uh light version 2 should confirm also momentum from the mtf version 2 be, uh, from the mtf because uh it's higher time frames and it's a little bit different uh mtf is one hour trading uh, and we always uh, use a combination of daily four hour one hour or four hour or and one hour and the Camarilla Light has monthly, weekly, daily, four hour. And uh, we don't uh, take any trades less than four hour on Camarilla Make the Light version two. So uh, it's basically very, very similar, but it's just uh, that it's a swing and it gives us slower trades. Okay, they built over time, but more pips. Uh, while also MTF can uh, be excellent if you trade, take, let's say, two trades per day, then you can make it. Uh, like one trade from the Camarilla Magdi Light. Camarilla Pro Tomash is just an indicator. So Camarilla Pro, we use, I use Camarilla Pro indicator in my systems, and uh, my modules. Uh, Camarilla Magdi course consists of Camarilla Magdi MTF, uh, counter trend, uh, Camarilla Light, uh, scalp swings and scalping. Those are five modules that we use for Camarilla Magdi trading. So it's, it's everything is based on uh, Camarilla Pro indicator. But I definitely need to do more videos on Camarilla Magdi Light now because it's it's a it, it's a good update. You will see. Okay, uh, this is what I see on the Euro Dollar uh, downtrend. Sell is fifteen twenty. Stop loss fifteen sixty. TP is thirteen ninety five. Uh, alternative buy thirteen ninety five. Stop thirteen fifty. TP fourteen forty. Breakout below fourteen forty. Targeting thirteen ninety five. I mean, this is for me. What I see, David, thank you. Thanks for your uh, great comments. Get a Camarilla MACD if money management is Holy Grail. The second Holy Grail is Camarilla MACD. Yeah, I mean, uh, guys, uh, we always, you always need to know, uh, even the best trades can go in losses if you don't use money management. That happened to me also uh, last week. Instead of making two or three more wins, I had two or three more losses. I mean, it's just money management, guys, okay? And you really need to be reading the market constantly and then uh, you actually uh, can see the real the whole picture but then again uh, the point is to be constantly in profits okay 
next one uh, Le yeah let me show you the euro dollar actually uh let me show you the euro dollar I will just give you a hint of camera media light version 2 just let me open the template uh, light version 2.1 This is it, guys. You can see it here. Camera Media Lite version 2.1. You see, uh, there are a couple of moving averages here. Of course, I won't be telling you uh, what are these moving what these moving averages are. We will also use uh, patterns uh, here, and we also use uh, we also use uh, our camera pivots. And as I already said, uh, we can also use VST tool that I haven't transferred here. I have it on my testing account, but uh, that is basically it. Uh, for me, this is very clear. Price started to move from this spot, definitely a downtrend, uh, definitely MACD confirming the trade. And I was late, but I also plan to send a signal for uh, the Euro dollar, uh, for the Euro dollar today. And guys, if you, yeah, I would have sent it probably here around this spot here. So now you would be like 35 pips in profit, but ah, okay. I mean, it can, I already traded three pairs today, so I'm not into uh, over trading now, but as you can see, uh, camera Mendy light also captures uh, this trade uh, in a perfect way. So uh, let me just, uh, okay. I will just use uh, uh, maybe a bigger yeah i'm focusing okay here and uh, definitely guys uh, this is one more uh, again a setup for the euro uh, dollar uh, please uh, memorize this uh, or just grab a screenshot i think that this can be a good opportunity for the euro dollar to actually uh, get into another another bearish bearish move so uh, euro dollar one of possibly uh, very very good trades i hope that this will be actually a good trade and i hope that we will make uh, some money with this okay now let me zoom out okay and this is the first one the gbp dollar guys also downtrend 3050 sell 3095 stop uh, 90 uh, 2940 tp then buy at 2940 stop loss 2910 tp 3050 okay and uh, here it is it is the gbp dollar okay so you can see uh well the gbp dollar now is rejecting uh, again from these excellent moving averages here uh you can see how the price rejects and now guys based on my uh, monthly uh, analysis this really has a room even it, it could have been traded from the weekly charts but i'm not trading weekly charts definitely for me this is clear downtrend and i'm and this was the entry unfortunately i missed it again but here we had an entry here 30 50. so it should have been sometimes guys i really uh, i know I, i'm pretty much calm when it comes to trading, I like this, but sometimes I'm angry or, uh, or at myself when I miss the trades like this. So this would have been a hundred pip win if I had traded it. I mean, but it's good that I finished with this, back tested this, and now we have a even better method to multiple to trade multiple time frames in the way I have always did and I always done uh, from like eight years ago. It's really this MACD stands the uh it, it withstood the test of time all with these great moving averages and with my camera system you really don't need anything else but of course we have also a day trading system this is swing method we have day system we had uh, very good trades very profitable it's called the mtf multiple time frame again for intraday trading guys yeah this was the setup uh, ali unfortunately we missed it and here we had a short trade opportunity okay and unfortunately we, we missed this one but this was the short again this is the setup that you can maybe have uh yeah the, the question from david how to know when to use the mtf for camarilla make the light uh honestly uh if i want to make a swing trade i i go to camarilla make the light 
if I don't, if I see that momentum on a one hour time frame is good, that markets are moving, then I will use one hour trading. For example, we traded the GBP dollar uh, today, and with Camarilla MACD MTF, we made 40 pips. But if I used it on Camarilla MACD Lite, we, we could have made more. But then again, I didn't see a lot of movement in the in the in the GBP dollar, except when it started to move, then I said, okay, now it's time for volatility. When I see the volatility kick in, then I switch to intraday time frame to grab fast pips. But maybe I should have actually traded Camarilla MACD Lite because otherwise, instead of 40, we would have made like 90 pips probably. Well, basically for four hour trading, it's and daily trading now from now on it's uh, camera make the light but from uh for uh, intraday trading when there is movement in the market when the markets are really moving then you use the mtf we also have scalping but i don't do scalps so this is the gbp dollar guys and the gbp dollar uh, setup is clear okay uh possibly uh, this could be uh 2940 this could be a possible guys trade from this spot but treat it as a scalp trade so uh after 15 20 pips try to protect your profits uh mostly this will be a uh, wow this is really dropping so uh i hope that uh, this scalp if you make a scalp trade from this spot it it should be good the australian dollar 7120 sell 7160 stop tp 7050 okay and this is actually a typo yeah it should have been buy it doesn't matter you know what it is so it is actually a positional buy trade so 7050 is buy stop loss is 6990 okay and the the tp is 7140. so the australian dollar we can also now go to actually yeah this was the the first version yeah this is my template uh the, uh, this is intraday template. It's uh, the MTF uh, version two, and you can see uh, how this actually uh, range uh, markets uh, have been doing with the uh, Australian dollar. But I knew it would drop. I mean, I had a sell trade. I didn't close it, and I lost it. But I knew it would drop. And this is again, this is very clear for me. Seventy one twenty is a sell. You see, this is the POC zone here. Bang from this spot is sell. Here we have weekly L5. I think it should hold at least for some nice pips to the upside. So this is a buy opportunity. Yes, Sean, I will correct it now. This is a typo. Uh, you have a we have a typo here, but it's clear. It's actually yeah. So now it's clear. I guess everything is okay now. Then we have the dollar yen. That is in uptrend. Positional buy 112.50, stop loss 112, TP 113.60, uh, sell is 113.60, stop loss 139, TP 112.50. I closed it today for 40 pips, but I think there could be a new opportunity uh, on the dollar yen, guys. Uh, definitely the dollar yen is on the move. And one more thing, guys, uh, the BDC dollar, uh, 62.80, 61.80 is stop TP 65.30. Position sell 65.30 sell, 66.30 is stop TP 62.80. And this is also, if you want some questions now, guys, it's time now, it is now the time to ask me questions. Uh, the BDC dollar, very volatile uh, and be very, very careful, guys. Okay, I will actually uh, use uh, my template for this one. You see, for our template, you see a lot of buying so I guess there will be even more buying here. This is six times bottom here, basically, this zone. So uh, this is what I see here. And I will now answer your questions, guys. First, I will roll the slides. And then I hope that uh, we will make a nice, nice, nice uh, pips on these uh, pairs. So this is Euro dollar. Then this is the pound dollar. This is the Australian dollar. This is the dollar yen or so-called ninja. And this is the BDC dollar. Now, guys, for all of you who are new here and this webinar is uh, being recorded, it will be uploaded on the YouTube. Euro dollar is called fiber. 
GBP dollar is called cable. The Australian dollar is called the Aussie. The dollar yen is called Ninja. And the BDC dollar, it doesn't have any nickname now. But just remember, guys, these abbreviations. We Forex traders really like to use it. Okay. Now, the questions. Uh, the, the dollar CAD, Daniel is asking about dollar CAD. Uh, this is the dollar CAD. Uh, let me see. I will do the quick rundown. Monthly, weekly. Wow, this is buy on weekly, definitely, but we need to drill down a little bit more. Yeah, this is a buy trade. The dollar cad, you need to wait for a retracement. You see, there is no retracement. I would say if it drops, if it drops really, at least to this level here or to this level here, here, here or there, this is the buying opportunity. For selling, I would sell here, 3160. Try this, but wait for a pullback if you want to go up. This is bullish. Ali is asking, do you see a long setup on gold? Uh, let's see the, the, the gold actually. Yeah, the range market. This is clear range now, rectangle. And uh, let's start from monthly. Nothing on monthly. Weekly, it's bullish. Daily, it's retracing four hour buy setup. So it could be actually a buy setup soon on gold. I would say probable buy setup coming if this candle is bullish. If it closes above monthly H5, this should go more to the upside. Uh, yeah, I would say this is a good, uh, Ali, this is good. Regarding your question, yeah, this is good. I would go with even higher TP. I would go with 20, yeah, 12, 35, 40 is okay. I, I agree. And your setup looks good. I like it. You, I, I, I know that you're my student and I see yeah, and it's now confirmed with Camilla McDelight version two. So yeah, guys, uh, this I just need to record videos and whew, I hope that it will be finished soon. Now the question, uh, David, uh, the comment, uh, been trying ways and means to trade the dragon. Yeah, the dragon is uh, the GBP yen actually. The beast is uh, GBP New Zealand. The dragon is GBP yen uh, because it has a yen it's a dragon uh, and uh, you know it's uh, not the beast the beast is the gbp new zealand and uh, starting from monthly we see a bit bullish move not very strong weekly flat yeah this could have been actually a long setup but daily now is if it breaks this low then the the, the setup won't be valid but actually this could go more to the upside on the gbpn i because now you see it it it's still supported also with these EMAs, but it can go more to the upside. These are all bearish moves here, but actually now this could have been maybe this could be a nice setup. Let me just check something here. Yeah, this looks like it could reject from this trend line. It shouldn't close below the trend line. If it does, okay, this is broken. This is ooh, two touch trend line. This is four touch trend line. So if it closes below, then it could go more down. If it rejects, then it should go more to the up side. Yeah, this this is uh, one of the best pairs, but I still don't trade it very, very often on my uh, ECS live because uh, still some people have big spreads on these pairs, especially the GBPN and others. So I'm trying to stay away until uh, all traders get more comfortable with the risk and with positional trades, so then I will be also sending trades for the GBPN. Uh, again, yeah, what do you think about the New Zealand dollar? Move, more movement to the downside. New Zealand dollar, tricky one. Uh, I will show you right away. I'm particularly not into trading the New Zealand dollar at this point, but I can do the analysis. Uh, yeah, this is bearish, and it looks like uh, as I as I thought. This could reject from this spot, from this spot. If it closes here, bearish close implies for more pressure towards 65.05. If 65.05 gives away, then it should go even to 64.12. Definitely, guys. Look at this, this beauty. A lot of trades on daily time frame here. Yeah, but daily takes a lot of time to develop. So, but sometimes 
that's the fact. We sometimes need to switch to higher time frames if we want to uh, stay away from the whipsaw that the intraday markets can uh, bring us in. Okay, guys, uh, if you have any other questions, you can ask me. If not, I guess that everything is uh, clear, everything is fine. I hope that you also enjoyed the session. Uh, as I say, uh, this webinar is uh, being uh, recorded. It will be uploaded on YouTube. If you have any, any other questions, guys, uh, yeah, you can ask me, of course. Uh, the question uh, from David, do we still use the Napoli from the ITF? Yes, the MTF will not change. I'm just making up an update to the Camarilla make deal light. Okay, don't worry. Everything else is the same. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, and you stay awesome, David, and all of you. Uh, I will I will be here with you soon. Uh, watch my uh, Instagram profile. Also, join ECS Live Service, and we are there to fully support you. Talk to you soon, guys. Cheers. Trade safe.